everybody, it's Agnes and it's success story time from a viewer B from Johannesburg, South Africa. I hope you are good. I don't know where to start. I am so grateful for your teachings. I was hesitant about sending my success story because I'm not where I would like to be when it comes to my self-love. Please excuse my English. It is not my first language. I was with my specific person for almost two years. In March 2018, we were about to celebrate our two-year anniversary just two days before that he broke up with me. He told me he no longer loved me and he was drunk while he told me this. I cried because I knew we had some misunderstandings because of my insecurities, but it was not so serious that he could end our relationship. I begged him and I cried, telling him how much I loved him, but I could see that he was really done from the way he looked at me. He didn't even want to touch, want me to touch him. I was devastated. I felt like my life was over. I was at his place visiting while all of this happened. This happened during the week. So he woke up the next day and went to work and I stayed and did not leave, telling myself that when he comes back from work, he, we will talk and I will convince him to give our relationship another chance. And yes, he looked as if he was annoyed just looking at me and he made it clear that things were over between us and once he is done with a relationship, he is done. I left the next day and I went to my place. I leave two hours away from him. I live. I started searching the internet on how to get your ex back. I saw the no contact rule and I started following it. But through searching, I somehow ended up on your channel and I watched your success stories and success story number two stood out for me. I watched most of your videos every day. I was obsessed with this newfound knowledge of law of attraction. I started doing your self-love meditation two times a day and for some reason I just had that feeling that I was going to be fine without him but I wanted him back. I meditated and I affirmed as much as I could and I did the 19 minute self-love first best and whispering technique meditation every day. I prayed and believed this was not a challenge for me because I have I am a Christian, so LOA just affirmed through your teaching in Neville's that I am God, myself, and I can create my own world. But it wasn't always easy believing. First week of May, I saw a message from him saying, I miss you. I couldn't believe it. I was so excited and I answered saying that I don't know what to say to that. I must admit I had the faith, but I was not really feeling worthy and first best. I sent another message him telling him, I miss you too. We started chatting, but it wasn't the same as it was before, more sexual, and I felt like he didn't respect like he did before. He would send me a message maybe once or every two days just saying hi or hello. If the conversation continued, it would only be sexual, and I needed more, and I felt like he spoke to me when he was bored, and it wasn't because he wanted to be with me. We chatted, and I confronted him, saying that I could only tell that he wanted me for sex and after that he stopped messaging me or even responding to my texts. He blocked me on his WhatsApp but unblocked me three days later. This happened towards the end of May. I continued with doing my meditations affirming that I'm loved and I love myself and I also read the success stories on the Secret Success Stories website. I never stopped believing that we would get back together and we did. He messaged me again in August and it was around 3 a.m. that he missed me so much but I didn't respond until 7 a.m. I asked him, what does he miss, me or having sex with me? And he said he just missed being with me and that it's not about sex. We spoke throughout the day on WhatsApp and this time he even phoned me that, that evening at the end of our call, he told me he loves me and I couldn't believe it. The following day, he sent a good morning message like he used to before and there I could see and feel that things were different this time, but I didn't initiate any conversation. He called me and messaged me every day and I asked him, asked if he could visit and I said yes. We spent a weekend together and things were great between us. I didn't ask him about the past because I knew that all of that happened because of my insecurities. It's now November and this is great between us. It's as if we never broke up and we are in a relationship again and it's amazing. I can see and feel that he really loves me and I've stopped my meditations but I don't I have not stopped my meditations, but I don't do them daily, but I do my affirmations daily that I'm loved and I love myself. Thank you, Agnes. Well, thank you, B. Thank you for sharing your success story with us. I will put down in the description anything that B has mentioned as things that she did. I'll put the links down below and 
I will put the success story playlist down for you, those of you that are new and haven't seen it yet. And that is it for this YouTube today.